So uh, there's a hurricane coming, and uh, it's a pretty nasty one. What's everybody doing? They're freaking out. What are we doing? We're chilling. <laughs> Ah, you just woke up. Good morning. Good morning. We're chilling. You know, I've never put um, hurricane shutters up, but um, I have a lot of stuff. My entire business inventory in here right now. And I'm gonna wait till the end of the day and uh, might be putting those shutters up as the storm's approaching. But might have to do it this time. It is a pain in the butt. We've got so many windows and sliders, and these things are those old heavy, heavy metal ones, um, and they don't fit properly. So, yeah, I'm trying to avoid it, but. Um, you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And uh, we are moving here in a couple weeks, so I gotta make sure the place is, uh, you know, still standing. So, um, yeah, in the last uh, hurricane that came, uh, it was pretty gnarly. Hurricane Wilma came. I did not put shutters up, and I watched my um, neighbor's building, the roof just peel off, and people's windows bust out with them inside and all the debris flying out my window at 100 miles per hour, and I was so fortunate that I made it out of that because uh, my rear patio, um, it flooded because the sliding glass doors bowed out um, like six inches. The windows were just literally about to bust. I mean, it was, it was pretty scary. I've got that on video. I gotta try to find that somewhere and post it up, but um, yeah, so we might need to be safe uh, this time around because look at all this stuff. You know, only my entire, entire net worth is uh, sitting in these back rooms. That's all. No big deal. with bags and bags of food, uh, water. There were some people getting cash. The gas station was just as bad. Um, yeah, so we're gonna have fun. It's a hurricane party. We have a rum and we're about to get some beer. And uh, I want some booty. <laughs> uh, yep. Uh, and this is uh, Tuesday, 2 o'clock. We're at Walmart here, try to get uh, doggy food. And if you look at the shelves right here, they're like completely empty. So this is kind of nuts. People are going crazy. We haven't had a hurricane like the one that's coming our way. So um, yeah, so that's nuts. But. Uh, there you go, water, battery, groceries. Um, we're here for the beer. We already got food, gas, and um, some cash. This is our hurricane. Um, These are our hurricane supplies. Yes. And we're doing this in the Vespa. So the guy at the register was wondering where our water was. And we told him like right here, right? Who needs water? Who needs water when we have beer? So, Mush Car up. Carl's gonna carry everything. No, 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 no. You're gonna carry everything. Hold on, where are we putting this Coke, baby? Cokehead. Who is a Cokehead? You are a Cokehead. 
Uh, you're gonna have to hold on to the beer while I get on the stuta. Oh, it's gonna fall. Seat's hot, baby. Huh? Seat's hot. The seat is harsh. All right, let's do it. All right, let's do it. We'll get our shot. What do real Floridians do when there's a hurricane? They go to the beach. In true Floridian fashion, we spent time at the beach, loved watching the waves come in and those little squalls before the massive hurricane was ready to approach. It's always a lot of fun when there's a hurricane, but this one was definitely freaking people out. The media really hyped this one up and showed it hitting us directly dead on. At about the same time that we were hanging out at the beach, the weather forecasters were predicting a direct hit in a category three to five. A category one or two is no joke when it's a direct hit, but three to five really gets people freaked out. And I'm someone that usually doesn't get into all the hype and doesn't listen to the media. I've been through tons of hurricanes throughout my 34 years here in South Florida, but this one definitely made me become a little bit cautious, especially with us trying to sell my home and get on the road here within a couple of weeks. So, I'd rather be safe than sorry, and asked a neighbor to help me with the last few shutters that were giving me a hard time. Like, last minute, nothing's lining up, so it's getting uh, pretty gnarly. The um, signs and stuff out here are already moving like crazy. Thankful for uh, some good neighbors. So, as you can see, we're doing last minute preparations for Matthew, Hurricane Matthew. Fuck you, Matthew. <laughs> and uh, the mister over here is putting the shutters up. Um, it's Thursday morning, 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. Um, yeah. This should be really fun, baby, right? <coughs> Absolutely. Yeah, that's the answer. Um, anyhow, so um, stay tuned. Yeah, he did the windows outside. Now it's time to do this. It's over here. Nothing lines up. Nothing lines up, but um, we didn't think it was going to be this bad. Um, so that's why the shutters were put up for, because we were really helpful, but um, seems like um, it's gonna hit us pretty bad. So, uh, I need help. I'll help you, baby. You need some professional help? Yeah. Yeah? How may I help you? None of this stuff fits me. <laughs> no? Yeah. I brought good luck. <laughs> Sean is gonna help Kevin with the boat here. Um, we're totally unsure of what Matthew's going to bring. The more stuff you have, the more things you need to prepare for the hurricane. And I am so happy that I started getting rid of things a few years ago because this 
is no fun. Years ago during Hurricane Wilma, I saw this dock get busted apart by boats that were literally bouncing up and down over and under the dock. There's my girls and boy. Hurricane Matthew. Doggies are loving it. Woo! There's the brew man. <laughs> Look at those happy pups. Look at those happy pups. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thanks, baby. And here we are in what would be some of the worst of the storm. We truly were blessed and got super lucky. Look who has difficulty breathing. <laughs> Somebody help this lady. <laughs> it's a professional help. Help me. Anybody? Anybody? We survived help this lady? another hurricane, but others north of us were way less fortunate, and they have tons of devastation. So, definitely being safe is a whole lot better than being sorry.